I've always been interested in the arts, um, be it music and film and um, fashion. Um, photography started mainly with me taking pictures of my sisters at home. Um, at the time, it was just for fun. Um, and then it just gradually got more serious. And so much so that when I was in uni studying law, I um, would spend more time taking online like tutorials than studying for my exams. And by the time I finished my degree, I just said, I, I don't want to be a lawyer anymore. I just want to be a photographer. I will say that the very first thing that I try to make run through every body of work that I do is um, aesthetics because I work, as I said, I work in fashion and portrait. So aesthetics for it, for the image to sort of draw you in, that's very important to me. You know, um, I don't want to word, I don't want to use the word beautiful because I mean beautiful is beauty is very relative. But then in my mind, I just need everything to be as you know clean and as minimalist as possible. Um, my eyes can't take too much information at, at, at a go, so like I, that obviously translates into my work. So I think the most cohesive thing in my work it will be what the visuals, the final visuals will be. Um, but from an intellectual standpoint, I think everything will always be tongue-in-cheek. Um, it would always be um, sort of like a bigger idea, but then in the most like pared down in the most simplistic sort of way, at least for now. Um, but then again, one thing, a reason why I don't generally like talking about my work is I never like to force whatever my own mindset was on the viewer or the engager. Um, when I engage with different art forms, be it music and be it film or whatever, I just feel what I feel. Sometimes it's nice to know what the artist wanted you to feel or what they were feeling, but then generally I just end up feeling what I'm feeling. And I never like it when the artist is sort of like forcefully saying, well, I was thinking this, so you kind of have to think, feel that way. No, if you were sad when you wrote the song, this song makes me feel joy. That shouldn't be a bad thing. Uh, the idea behind the um, exhibition, We Must Not Be Looking, is um, I was here, here being South Africa, Cape Town specifically, um, I think two years ago on a residency. <coughs> um, it's a great, great country and great people. But then I noticed that, um, first of all, there was a lot of like, um, color distinction, which obviously um, is fine, in the, I mean, it happens in the world, but then being Nigerian and living mainly in Nigeria, um, you don't get that because everybody's black. Um, but then what struck me was people calling themselves or answering to colored. Um, I thought it was very odd. Um, when I heard it at first, I, I first felt like shocked, like, wait, isn't that supposed to be wrong? But then when I realized that the people answered to colored and referred to themselves as colored, I was just like, oh, okay, well, maybe that's a thing. Um, but then the more I heard it, um, the more ridiculous it sort of became to me. Um, and that's where this body of work was sort of birthed from. Um, where I just sort of like reimagined what an actual coloured person um, would be like, um, yeah. I did engage with it as an outsider um, and the reason why the work is very sort of like vibrant and playful is because, you know, it, I sort of had like a child's disposition to the word and to the concept. So it was almost like I reimagined myself as a child and hearing something for the first time and, you know, Maybe me hearing my mother say, oh, a colored man is coming to visit us today. I'm just thinking, well, what must that be? So in a sense, this was kind of what I would have thought a colored person would look like. And, um, and the body of work is something that is still in progress because I still plan to like, develop it some more and um, do some like, interesting like, collages and things like that. Because I mean, it's really, it, in my mind, it was a very like, what is a colored person? And it was just like playing with that idea. So I mean, the, yeah, the possibilities of what the work can be are very endless.